The remains of a World War II veteran are back in Grand Rapids nearly a century after he was killed in action. 13 on your side's Nate Belt joins us now after speaking with his family today. Yeah, Juliet Kirk, Private First Class Willard Brinks was killed in 1942 and until now his remains were unidentified. Today his surviving family members got a moment of closure after a lifetime of questions. It kind of closes an era for us all. More than 80 years after he died, Willard Brinks is home. We just didn't realize that this was possible. We just thought he was gone. Dale Geikema is Brinks' nephew. I was born in 1940. Two years before his uncle was killed in action, serving in the Army in present-day Papua New Guinea. For nearly a century, Gaikama and the rest of his family left in uncertainty. It was this question mark. So they couldn't believe when the army called. They did blood tests of cousins and other things like that uh, to, to make sure that they had done the right. They were very careful. But he's also home with God. A question finally answered, unfortunately too late for most of Brinks's family. His brothers would have loved to been here for that because they were close. But now he's finally back with them, interred near his parents. They made room because they knew it was important that the family could be together even in that way. Together again, a calming presence for his remaining relatives. It gives, I think, all of us a sense of peace that he's really at rest. Brinks died when he was only 24 years old. He's now laid to rest with the rest of his family at Garfield Park Cemetery.